checking in with you here um, I think it's been probably a week or almost since the last video I put up um, just had some stuff going on so I just figured I would kind of check in so that you guys uh, didn't think I kind of like fell off um, or that I just gave up on YouTube because I didn't um, so <sighs> coffee together check in just general happenings, you know. Um, overall, I did a weigh-in. Overall, since the start of uh, my whole weight loss trek uh, a month and a half ago, I have lost 20 pounds in total. I'm still on the intermittent fasting, and I'm having no problems thus far. The only thing that I haven't gotten to yet is uh, the doctor... Uh, wanting me to do a full 24 hour fast. I'm very nervous about that, but um, when the time comes, you guys will kind of get to see bits and pieces of that because I figure I'll kind of record little clips and stuff as I go along throughout the day to give y'all an idea of what I'm, where my mind is, what I'm dealing with, um, how I'm feeling, stuff like that. Um, especially since, you know, I don't know a lot of people who are not active, healthy, you know, type folks that aren't doing fasting periods of 24 hours or more like that. So, um, yeah. Um, anyway, down 20 pounds, which puts me from 244 when I started to uh, 221 and point something or another, and I can't remember what it is at the moment, but I am back down to the weight that I was in high school, and mind you, that was before I had weight loss surgery. Even in high school, I was an obese woman, but I'm making progress. I'm closer to getting below the 200 mark, which is what I wanted. Um, I put on a pair of scrubs. Remember I told you guys my biggest issue was the fact that um, I went from wearing a medium in clothes to wearing an extra large in clothes. Um, I put on a pair of large scrub pants, um, not yesterday, but the day before, and, uh, they fit, so progress, ah, say it with me, um, ideally, uh, they were, they weren't snug, they weren't, like, tight, but they were not comfortably loose like I am accustomed to wearing my scrub pants, um, but I'll take any progress so long as it is progress. I can't be mad but I'm getting there and I'm gonna keep on doing what I'm doing um, so there's that uh, I had to take a day off yesterday um, from my stuff here at my little country house um, because I got an abscess Sorry if that grosses anybody out. In the bend of my leg, which I haven't had in forever. For those of you guys that don't know, that's an unfortunate hazard of, of being female and the fact that we tend to shave in those areas. Um, I haven't had one in for er forever. I haven't shaved in forever, so I'm not entirely 100% sure what caused it, but it hurt like the dickens so I had to get it dealt with I mean I, I had done everything that I knew to do with it with my medical training um, and could not get any relief so doctor's appointment and antibiotics yay me um, it is much improved today um, no pain today um, it is literally half the size that it was yesterday on just um, a couple of around a couple of doses of antibiotics which is a good thing because I have still have plenty that I have to do here. Um, mm, 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 mm. Trying to think, trying to give y'all kind of the hit, hit all the most important stuff. Um, I have an appointment with a realtor um, set up for this coming Wednesday uh, for her to come by and look at the house to, um, I guess, uh, 
get her full visual inspection of the place. Um, she had already told me uh, when we spoke about it uh, last week, because I ran into her in town, we just had a cursory conversation about it, that um, she would be able to get for me um, quite a bit more than I had initially thought. Um, because of the age of the house, I did not feel like it was going to be worth much. But uh, she said she's actually had homes as old as this one um, and land less than what I have right now that sold for over 100k. So that was surprising. Um, but ideally, I guess I'm just going to kind of wait and see. I mean, I'm not going to assume that that's going to be what happens here. Um, so there's that. I have, as of this point, I'm kind of going to spend my day today cleaning and um, packing and the remainder of the stuff that I have in this house, which is, you know, like I told you guys before, I'm kind of living a Spartan life lifestyle. I have the most basic of necessities and furniture. I have a couch, I have a bed, and then I have a week's worth of clothes, the stuff I need in the kitchen, and then whatever uh, items I needed to do repairs and things like that. Everything else is gone. It was either trashed, donated, or moved to the other house. Um, so my, pro my aim today is to um, finish up doing some cleaning doing some packing so that I can move move that last little bit of stuff over there. Um, probably not this week coming because I work, this week coming I opted to work six days instead of just four. Um, you know, money is, extra money is always a good thing. Uh, let's see. So I don't really have the time to run that, run everything that three hours over. So probably what will happen is, is the Monday of the following week is probably when I'll, either the Monday or Tuesday is when I'll be doing that. So, I'm going to have all of this, as much stuff as I can moved over, not this week coming, but next week. And, um, by the end of this month, I will be completely out of the house. Me and my fuzzy butt, my fuzzy butts, my, my babies. Um, and we're going to be off and on the road to, uh, the beach house. So there's that. <clears throat> I'm really excited, but I'm kind of nervous all at the same time because, um, I mean, I mean, obviously, this is what I've known for like a long period of my life. I mean, I was raised here. I mean, I've never really felt like I fit here, especially not lately, like the last few years. And it's, been increasingly amplified since my mom died. Like, I don't really feel like I have any connection to this place anymore. So, um, I mean, it doesn't change the fact that, you know, I've had this place and two others, you know, three hours away. I mean, have had. And, I mean, I love going over there and I love spending time over there. I'm, ha I'm very happy over there. Um, but it's the permanence that makes me kind of uh, nervous because, you know, I've never lived over there long term. Usually I, I go, I stay for a week or two, I come back. Um, and uh, this is going to be an all the time. Ow, ow, dang. <laughs> Pris has got a, she's got a wild hair up her booty this morning. She just got me, goodness. Um. But I've never been over there, you know, alone by myself either. Like, I usually have other people with me or, you know, my family's over there. Because my family has a place over there too. So, usually they'll be there. So, I'll go over. We're all there at the same time. We do things together. That kind of thing. But this will be the first time I will be 100% by myself. Like, all the time. Which, I mean, not that that's... I'm not really genuinely tricking myself too terribly much about that. But, um... Because, like, I mean, here. I'm here by myself all the time. And um, even with my family being nearby, I mean, we don't really see each other very often. I mean, we literally have dinners, like, once a week. 
since my mom died, you know, we started having dinner once a week so that we can make sure we see each other and talk about what's going on with us and kind of keep each other in the know. Um, but before that, dinner might have been once a month, you know, so um, it's just going to take some adjusting, which is fine. Um, I have plans once I get over there um, to uh, do some things, and I may very well, you know, put that up online for you guys to see too. That you see my really poly chunky body, because one of the things that I think I want to record and had, and of course I'll speed it up. I'm not going to make you guys sit through however long that takes, but um, I'm going to be building some raised flower beds so that I can start my own. Um, garden, food garden, um, in my backyard because I would really like to, I've all, I've wanted to do that for a while now, but didn't want to do it here because of, um, the animal problem I have over here. I mean, I've seen deer, I've seen raccoons, possums, you name it, um, with no means by which to, uh, keep them away from whatever produce that I wanted to try to grow. So there's that. But now, um, the property that I'm moving to, I have completely privacy fenced it in, and I shouldn't have to worry about deer or none of that stuff, hopefully. Um, so that is going to be on my to-do list when I get over there. Um, so that'll be more for you guys to do. Another thing, too, coming up, and I'm probably going to try to do it before I move out the end of this month, um, is there is a uh, animal conservation reserve. Um, not too far away from where I am here um, and I think I would like to go I've never been before I hear it's wonderful um, and I may record that for you all too and let you all see all the animals and everything I mean I have seen so many Google reviews over this place and how everybody says how nice it is and how sweet the people are that run the place and take care of the animals um, and that you get like actual one-on-one -on -one interaction with the animals for um, enrichment purposes for them. So, you know, I thought that would be really neat. Um, so we'll probably, we may very well do that, um, hopefully. Um, because the idea of meeting a kangaroo and some lemurs is really awesome. So, you know, there's that. Um, so I can't think of anything else. Um, at this point, I just wanted to kind of give you guys the heads up on what the happenings are and what I'm trying to work out and, you know, that sort of deal. Um, only thing that I got secondarily that isn't about me is this whole Missy Moo and Foodie Beauty thing. Um, I'm not surprised and neither should she be. I mean, she's known who Chantal is. She, she has chose to um, look past it and ignore it. And now uh, what happens is basically what happens to everybody who tries to play Captain save -a for a foodie. Um, it blew up in her face. Um, the part that gets me is the last thing of hers that I saw was a live stream um, where she said, Oh, or Missy, sorry, Missy said about Foodie that all she had to do was say, my depression was so awful that I lost track of taking care of the, the cats. No, no, that is not an excuse. I'm sorry. Nope. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Nope. And I'll tell you why I say that, because I'm going to say this. For everybody who um, has animals, um may very well understand, but I will break it down. I mean, I don't care how bad my mental health gets. When my mom died for a week there, I had suicidal thoughts. Um, and even then, cats were fed, litter boxes was clean, and if they needed anything, they got it. That's just the way that it is. Um, the entire time I was going through depression, you know, during this phase with my mom passing or before, it didn't matter. Those, those animals, they are my babes. They're my babes. And they need somebody to help them. They are reliant on you. And I understand there are people that are like, well, if you can't help yourself, how are you going to help others? As someone 
who's been in recovery as long as I have, and I've been through, I've been to meetings and the AA program and all that stuff. They say one of the things that's said in AA is that in order to retain your recovery, to retain that, to attain that peace, you help yourself by helping others. So there's that. You know, when I could not or did not want to focus on how I was feeling or think about the things that were going on actively with me, that for me is when I focused on my animals. I made sure that they went to their vet appointments. I made sure that they they had food in their bowls. I made sure their water bowl was clean. I, you know, everything. So I don't, I don't, so I'm sorry, I just don't see depression as a valid excuse, even coming from Missy. And I also find it interesting that despite the fact that Foodie Beauty has dogged her out, Missy was still over there in this live stream trying to carry water for Chantal, which for me lets you know if Foodie came back and was like, oh, Missy, I was just in my feelings and da, 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 that Missy would probably climb right back on board that sinking ship along with the rats and Foodie and go down, you know, with the band playing, you know, whatever. Um, so there's that. Um, I'm so sick of people trying to give Foodie that pass. Um, her being in an abusive relationship, which, uh, relationship, non-relationship, because anybody who's been around knows that that heifer wasn't in a relationship with Natter. Um, and she was in complete control of when she was, eight, when she came and went. I mean, if she didn't want to stay there at the place with him, she didn't have to. She was capable of leaving. The only time that that didn't happen is when she was high off her gourd, which kind of lends to the fact that he did hide her keys from her to keep her from driving. Um, she was in complete control of her faculties when she was making the decisions to go buy this ridiculous milligrammed edibles and weed and vape pens and everything else. When she was ordering food nonstop, eating food while ordering the next round of food. So, I mean, I don't believe any of that. So, that's what I got. Um... Foodie is an animal neglector, and neglect is abuse, which equals she's an animal abuser. I mean, whether she likes it or not, she can try to spin it however she likes. She can try to manipulate the chain of events or the storyline however she feels necessary, but it doesn't change it. I mean, she's got every bit of it on video. It would literally take her deleting her whole channel and starting brand new for that to maybe even help keep people from knowing who she is, new people from knowing who she is, and even that wouldn't stop it because there are so many other channels. There's between the other channels, the reactors, Kiwi Farms, and all of that, you know, we've said it. The internet is forever. Once you put it out there, it's out there, and that's it. You're not ever going to erase your past when you share it for everybody to see. So she could try all that, it may make it a little bit harder for people to find it, but trust and believe, you know, people will always still know that Chantal is an animal abuser, um, no matter how much she decries that she's not and that she's being bullied. So, you know, so that's what I got. I'm going to leave you guys to it. I got some, I got to start cleaning. I got to finish my coffee first. Um, I don't really feel you know, like doing it, but when does anybody ever really feel like cleaning? Um, but I wanted to go ahead and kind of get, you know, get as much of it done today as I can so that hopefully, um, I can take a little bit of a half day of a break tomorrow. Um, so I don't know. That's what I got. Thank y'all for coming by to see me. I appreciate y'all checking in. Um, I apologize if not everything that I said has made sense because I have, I've only had like a couple of sips of coffee thus far. Um, so I appreciate you guys coming by. You have a good day. Bye.